there is this issue that has been trending of my very good sister Lady Mutambo. I personally know her, so uh, and and Kidist. I haven't personally met Kidist, but uh, most of you know know who she is as well. I felt it's quite imperative for us as the as a nation to begin to realize how our behavior begins to culminate into the people we produce in this country. If constantly we're gonna be having people that are going to be out there just saying whatever they feel, and that's the generation we are raising, that's the generation we are cultivating. And so I am not going to be here to begin to condemn who is wrong and who is right. I think that I would leave that in the domain of both Lillian and uh, Kidist. I don't know if Kidist, that's her real name, but I'll, I'll leave it in her domain. I have looked at Kidist and I feel she's an amazing woman uh, who has really fought so many battles in life and to get to where she is. And every time you are at the top, you need to realize that you become the topic because that's what happens at the top. So I do not want to go in details as to where this battle or this fight began from, but I just want to understand that these are two influential women in our country. And if Lillian is as influential as in she was an aspiring MP, then you must not underestimate such kind of influence. She might have not gone through, but then we cannot underestimate the impact and imprint she had on the ground. Kidis has got a span of young girls that look up to her, obviously because most of the people would want what she has, okay? So me, I'm coming in as a pastor. I'm not coming in as a rapper this time. I'm coming in as a pastor because watching this from the terraces was just a bit disturbing, especially looking at the language that was used to just discredit each other, to just disrespect each other. And I know, you just want to speak whatever it is so you can hurt the other person. It's understood. So what kind of leadership role, what kind of leadership are you giving to our young girls? If you can insult each other, begin to talk about all this, you know. And sometimes it's, it's, it's a bit disturbing for me. I love your maps. Like I love that boy. Like I love that guy, you know, so much. Sometimes I'm just a bit... I wish he could not comment on certain things. I wish, I really wish he could not comment on certain things. You know, sometimes you love somebody so much such that you become, you, you have a soft spot for them. <laughs> but I honestly wish people near you should be able to advise you not to comment on certain things. Your brand is extremely big. You are one of the biggest brands we have in this country. And I've been telling everybody I meet to say, you know what? It starts with us supporting one brand and exporting that brand. Your maps is ready for export. We can export that guy to the nations and he will be a representative for us as Zambians. And then imagine Davido coming to comment on things trivial like these ones. Oh my God. Sometimes I do not understand this. I, <laughs> I wish... I wish, young man, you can begin to look at yourself and see the kind of impact you have, the kind of brand and name you have built. Now, I understand. There are times when... when you, for the sake of peace in the house, you want to join in and just make it seem like it's, a, it's, it's no big deal. But you know, you have a brand. You have a name. That name is extremely big and it must be protected. Kidist, you must remember that you are married to one of the most biggest, like one of the most biggest artists. And me speaking like this, I'm an artist. You are married to one of the biggest artists in this country. You must, you, you, you shouldn't be so blinded into thinking everybody's going to like you. No, it doesn't work like that. You can feed the, the entire nation. Nobody's, not everyone will love you. And the moment somebody can begin to think, they can say something and it can get to you, then that, that's a weak spot for you. I want you, my, my little sister, to realize, remember the kind of position you hold. Who are you? 
Who are you married to? We've, we've come to know you because of your maps. It's the biggest brand. But is that the kind of image you want to portray for your husband to just be insulting on social media? And then all these girls who are looking up to you, who do they become tomorrow? What kind of, even for your child, you have a child now. Can that child 15 years from now begin Google up your name, Kiddist? And then a beef between Kiddist and Lillian Mutambo pops up and she begins to read those screenshots of your insults, de degrading words. Is that the kind of personality you want to preserve for yourself? I'm not going to be one of those pastors that is just going to be silent about this. No. There is moral decay being introduced right now in our nation because most these are some of the most influential women we have. And if they can be there out there just insulting each other, right in broad daylight and everybody's just there clapping yeah you are right you are wrong I've, at this particular time let's bring in what does the word of god say what does the bible say i am not going to come into into this matter and begin to claim that hey me i'm so intelligent so i'm going to tell you what to do let's go back to the scripture what does the bible say is this how believers sort out issues no 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 that's unacceptable it's unacceptable to Lillian, you should be able to give leadership to this young girl. This is just a child. This kid is, might have, might might be this person that people are looking up to and all that. But she's just a young girl that needs leadership from you as an older woman. Let's go to the scripture. What does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? The Bible says in the book of Titus chapter 1. In fact, Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2. I heard a man of God that said there is nowhere in the Bible where it's written that women should love their husbands. No, it's there. It's there in the Bible. The Bible says, Let the older women likewise, they be in behavior as becomes holiness, not false accusers, not given to wine, teachers of good things. This is what older women, older women must be able to do verse 4 that they may teach the younger women to be sober kiddies needs to be taught to be sober by you lillian mutambo and then second thing you teach them is to love their husbands to love their children this is the bible titus that is titus chapter 2 verse 3 to 4 if you want you can start from verse 1 This is what is expected of you, Aunt Lillian, to teach the young girl how to love the husband, how to love her family, how to build her family. That's what is expected of you. Not beginning to reveal your and all such is not expected from an older woman, especially somebody of intelligence like yours. No. Younger women ought to be taught to love their husbands. And secondly, they need to be taught to love their children, which, which means ultimately it's talking about to love their family. A woman that loves her family will know how to protect it. I don't want to go back into Proverbs 31. The kind of woman that protects her family, the kind of woman that, that, that encourages her family to produce the best, that's what is expected. Older women must do what? Teach the younger women, younger women, Lillian, you are older. Teach this young lady how to love her husband, to keep her family in check, and how to behave properly. Now, when I come to Kiddist, let's go to the book of Colossians, chapter 4, verse 6. Colossians, chapter 4, verse 6. The Bible says, let your speech be always with grace. Talking about an older woman like Lillian and insulting her in public, is that a gracious speech? Ask yourself. Is that a speech that your mother would be so proud of if she heard or if she read it? Is that speech gracious? Is your speech seasoned with salt? Can you swallow your own words and not choke on them? Your maps, I think it's okay. We'll talk about your maps some other time. But then the little things I can say is that my young brother, don't dent your name with trivial issues like this. Can you imagine Joe Boy 
going to some woman and commenting and saying this and that. Can you imagine the Coppola pastor doing that? Can you imagine KO or, or, or Meiso, rest in peace, aka going to comment on things like that? You are too big a brand. You can't do that. We are, all of us are looking up to you. We are pushing you because you are one of those products we can, we can export. Your maps wake up. You need to wake up. If everybody around you is scared to tell you because maybe they want uh, favors from you. No, we are telling you this because we care about you. And then listen. The door is never open forever. <laughs> there is no particular door that opens forever. Right now, we, you need to be careful and you need to know how to utilize the door that has opened for you. So, your maps... I think I'll, 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 I would want a, a private session where I talk to him man to man. I think it's high time we began to treat, to train young men to also behave like men. Oh, Jesus. But, kiddest, this is your scripture. Colossians chapter 4, verse 6. Let your speech always be gracious. All the time. Now, because I did, I did not come here to condemn anybody. I just want you guys to think. We want you people to make peace in the presence of everybody. Why? Because it's not, it's not wise for you to live antagonistic to each other. Especially if you claim to love the, to love the Lord. I just came here to just bring some sanity. We can't continue watching people fight. And then we are just watching. We must bring back everything to the scripture. Because that's the guideline we live by. That's why we are called a Christian nation. We must put everything aside and then be able to bring love. The love of the Lord is what I speak into the heart of Lillian Mutambo. The, heart, the love of the Lord is what I speak in the heart of Kiddis. It's the same love that I speak upon your families. That the Lord brings unity and unites you. I want you to remember my words. We want to see peace. May there be reconciliation between Kiddist and Lydian Mutambo. That's our prayer. Because you people might take it like No. You people have got a whole lot of people behind you. People that believe in you. People that are following you behind. What kind of an example are you leading and leaving behind? Praise the Lord. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just came as the Coppola pastor. And this time I came as Prophet Malachi Ngani just to bring some sanity and peace. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lillian, the Bible has got a, a scripture for you. Titus chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. Teach the young women to be sober. Teach kids to be sober. She's having a certain level of, 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 of success. It might bring her, her sobriety down. It might make... Uh, her not to be as sober but you as an older woman the bible tells us that you must teach her to be sober and the second thing you do is teach her to love your maps don't destroy the home that's what the bible is saying teach her to love and be loyal to that guy and the third thing you you teach her is you teach her to love her children we've seen kids making efforts to meet uh your maps kids and all that and we, we must applaud her it's not easy so that's what the bible commands you lillian to do to what to make sure that there is that unity you begin to hold this marriage together that's what is expected as of expected of us as older people and kids have given you a scripture it's colossians chapter 4 and verse 6 let your speech be always not sometimes be always gracious and seasoned with salt. Whatever is coming out of your mouth, can somebody hear it and not, not choke them? That's the kind of spirit that the Lord is, is commanding you or, 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 or adorning you to have. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. This is the Coppola Pastor, Ushabayekanga Madagascar. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you.